Testing, Ryan, can you hear me? There we go. Just using the uh, mic from the webcam. So we'll just do it that way instead of through the microphone. I coo. I have no idea how to connect all these fans to the actual motherboard itself. I'm not to learn how to do that. How do we build already put the radiator in the front? All right, so yeah, let me update you. So I've got the motherboard completely built, actually. I've got the case taken apart. Um, I've got the frame around the PSC right there. So the reason I'm doing this right now is because there's three different positions that the PSU can go in. Um, so I want to mock this up and put it in the case to see which position the PSU has to go in. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos. There's like, I know they need power and RGB. What I did do though is, so this is an MSI. AIO and it came with these obviously MSI fans so I bought these same fans uh, to go in the case so I have all MSI fans they're all the exact same um, but yeah having to connect them to power and RGB and all that that part is like the only part I don't know Yeah, like I don't know what all these connectors are. These are for the fan, but it says noise reducer. I'm assuming there's a way to link these together somehow. So, I don't know. I still need to put, yeah, I gotta put these AMD brackets over the CPU for the pump itself. piggyback those on each other and then plug them into the motherboard pins with CPU cooler. Yeah, yeah. I just don't actually know exactly how to do that is what I'm saying, but good call. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what, uh, let me see here. Let's get it.
Wait, is it this? No. I'm pretty sure that's what this cable is for. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a way, like you said, to piggyback all these together using this dude right here to then plug in somehow. So, yeah, that's my only mystery right now. Yeah, I might have to get, get a hub. We will see. All right, let me get the case over here. I'm gonna put this somewhere else. So, let's see how this thing fits. cool about this case though is you can fit a full this is a 360 millimeter AIO so that's kind of dope That will fit in there just like that. Let's 
Let's get this out of the way. You can flip the rear fan around the air pulls toward the fan bracket that we have it now. It's going to pull it in from the rear. You don't have to pull it out. So the reason I have it like that, yeah, let me know if you think differently. So, <laughs> right, these two, these are the bottom fans. These should be pulling air in. And then um, <clears throat> to get, I don't think I'm going to be able to get positive pressure, but at least to get neutral pressure. We should have three fans in, and then there's three fans on the AIO, and all of these are going to be pulling air out the top. So it should be fairly neutral. I don't know how much to the uh, the PSU. So this will be mounted with the fan out in the front so i think it should be let's see me this way like that so i think this should also be pulling air in i don't know how much that's going to have an impact in the overall case but that way because you you want positive or neutral pressure not negative right so it makes sense to have three pulling in with three going out I don't know. You tell me. Move the bottom fans to the front of the base. The PSG should be in the back corner. It's going to get the hottest. Of that. So I would, except this is the only place this case is designed for the PSU to be mounted up front. And these are the only two fans that can be mounted here. It looks like there should be able to be a third here, but you actually can't mount one right there. I feel like I could probably get creative and put something there, but this space right here is meant for SSDs, ex, um, additional SSDs, which I'm not putting in. But I did see a video of a guy that had enough room to sort of mount another fan up front on the bottom here. So I might see after all this is in if I'm going to be able to do that. Because that way, yeah, we'd have one, two, three fans at the bottom pulling air in.
get out the micro case. Unfortunately, it's a little tight, and that's the only way to make it work. But I'm pretty sure. I think I'm gonna get another MSI fan and make it work right here. So I've got three fans on the bottom. Flip and running on a stress test and it's too warm with the rear fan pulling your air in and flip it and see. Yeah, 100%. Also, that rear fan or this fan, the rear fan is like, I can easily move that around. So, 100%. Yep. This is supposed to be a uh, <laughs> quote unquote gaming case. So it's supposed to be for you know bigger components because this is like I said 360 mil AIO plus a full size um, graphics card, right? The 7900 XTX and a full size PSU. <laughs> Broder, you don't even know you have no idea what you're talking about, bro. You probably don't even know which way a kayak or a canoe is supposed to go. I'll tell me my shit's backwards. And I'm trying, Ryan. What is it? Six o'clock? Uh oh. I don't know if I'm able to even if I got this up and running, I don't know if I could download the game fast enough on this thing. Rudder. Spending hell money on hardware clearly makes you just automatically a better player. So my KD is going to be better than probably Ryan's even. Dude, I just saw a uh, Instagram post that said the Nvidia's twenty or what is it, fifty ninety, like the next their next gen graphics card. So the fifty ninety is seventy percent more powerful than the current forty ninety. That's wild, and they said it's going to be probably roughly. Well, they're speculating it's going to be a two thousand dollar GPU. So, that's fucking crazy. Brother, I don't even know what you're talking about. 
When that's that's not a thing. I didn't do that. get this thing centered. Is this a ghost PC or do you have to sign in and get a serial number? <laughs> this is ghost, bro. Did you download the uh, latest update? Was yours also 140 gigs like mine was? I 
just turned my ass off and was already downloaded. What? Huh. <laughs> All right. I gotta figure out how to get this bracket on to get the pump connected to the CPU. I've seen videos of this before, but I think I'm gonna have to watch another one. Pretty sure. Oh uh, yeah, I have mine set to automatic too. I just didn't have my freaking PC on. I gotta watch a uh, YouTube video for this because I forgot how this works. <laughs> Since the launch of AMD's AM5 platform, one of the most recurring questions we've been getting in our comment section is about cooler compatibility. So what I wanted to do today, plastic clips, they hook onto each end of this mounting system and basically it is a pressure mounted system with the hooks, with bolts, you the same height as a properly attached AM4 backplate to have that cooler compatibility. So it is nice that AMD has retained this whole mounting solution, so most coolers are in fact compatible. With saying all that, there are about three types of cooler mounting solutions that should work regardless of the manufacturer. Most manufacturers will use the same or something similar, but this will give the angle. You can see that once again, you lower it down onto those bolts. It's something that you'll see on some air coolers and some liquid coolers. We've got a Cool Master cooler here, which uses this clip and retention system that hooks onto the top of the no, not right. setup. <laughs> Now, as mentioned, it uses these plastic clips, and the way this works is the cooler then hooks onto each side of the cooler retention system. I'm going to show you how this works. The plastic hooks hook into the metal parts of these brackets here, and it pulls the cooler down onto the top of the IHS of the CPU. I'll quickly mount this up just to give you guys a bit of an indication of what it looks like while it's mounted. And you can see here that the brackets do bend. That is actually to help with mounting pressure. So if you're seeing this at a weird angle like you're seeing uh, here, yeah, okay. there's enough. All right. <laughs> so... Four bracket screws. I think that's what I need. Dang, those are tiny. Is that really it? Yeah, so like it might be. Alright, 
is this connect? With it. And at closer inspection, you can see that it does, in fact, hook into that. Oh, wait a second. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how that goes. Okay. Yeah, that's gotta be it. So this, a little slot on the side there. So this goes inside here. Screws then go in there. And this is like a hook. I don't think you can see it, but there's a little bracket on each side of the CPU right here that this holds on to. Get that installed. I don't know if I have a freaking Phillips small enough for this. <laughs> Get him ready, flex capacitor, bro. work what are you doing in clothes brother chill with Jess and fam I assume Just chill on, or are you there for any particular reason? Catching an Uber in five minutes, but I'd log off here. Dang, you guys going out in the town or what? Out in Clovis? <laughs> 
Later, brother. Tower District, let's go. I wonder if it's a better idea to try to get these fans hooked up before getting this pump installed. This is going to basically go... This can only mount one way. Hmm. That's not great. pressure on this and these are too long. I mean I guess I can move this forward a little bit but I don't know how much that's going to help. Hmm, that's a pickle. Be right back.
I am not sure what to do about that. So this can go forward about half an inch or so. So that should help a little bit because this is, otherwise this is going to be pushing on the, the glass that goes right here. And it doesn't help to flip the AIO around so that it's on that side because then it would be even worse. Alright, I just gotta I think I gotta move forward. Dang. Back to that while I move things around here. Alright, let's slide this forward. It's kind of a pain, but that's what we gotta do. Checking for clearance here. Yeah, that's about as far forward as I can go right there.
Okay, let's see if that helped. I don't have high hopes, but let's see. I think it definitely helped, but man, I don't know about that. I think I'm just gonna have to get that fully on there. Uh, that's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. Let's see about this PSU.
PSE is on the bottom slot, which is what the case directions say it should be in. But now, the problem now, I don't know if you can see this, but here's the AIO tubes. The power for the PSU is supposed to go right here. So there's going to be a plug that needs to go in there. That means it's going to be putting a bunch of tension on that. Hmm. This is the PSU power cable that comes with the case since it's front mounted. Hmm. It's going to be a little too tight, so I think <laughs> Uncle Alan, what's up? I don't know that I'm saving mega bucks, but I'm saving something probably. Hopefully. Who knows? Cable is in. It's not great. I don't know. That might work. I had, uh, had dinner last night with Annie Marin, Annie Kay, Mom, and Curtis on the boat. That was fun. We missed you there.
Alright, I think this is going to work. Not my favorite thing, but... I don't know if you can see, there's just... This is as far down as the PSU can go. And the tubing for the AIO basically comes out like right into where the power cord goes into the PSU. I think though, kind of mocking up like this, that that helps out yeah, with this issue because this doesn't, it's like right at the plane here where the tempered glass goes. So I think that'll work. I don't think that's an issue having that amount of pressure on it. It's not like it's crunched or what am I trying to say? Squeezed or anything like that. So crimped. So I think that's just how we have to run it. Where does it install in the Raptor? <laughs> this thing could definitely probably power that. This is, a, this is a pretty powerful computer, so maybe I got it. Maybe I got to think about putting one in there, huh? You want to help me with that? All right, I'm gonna take the PSU out and get everything connected to that. You know, I wonder if If we turned this around so the tubing is over here, if there'd be a way for it to be out of the way, like come over, like kind of come over this way and then down onto the pump. I don't think there's actually let's see you know I don't think that well I don't know if that makes a difference because even if the tubes run here there's still not very much clearance on this side like I feel like that's about the same amount of clearance and I feel like that would actually make the tubing even more challenging so yeah I think it has to be like this all right All right, so let's pull this back off. Take this out. this out of the way for now.
Alright, here's another thing I definitely not so sure how to do. Can you make big bucks with this with crypto mining when you're not gaming? <laughs> I don't know about crypto. Also, don't you basically have to have like a super powerful server for that? I'm skeptical of crypto though. Let's see. PCIe Type four, type four. Not really even sure what that is. Don't know what that cable is. Don't know what that cable is. Same with that one. Type four. I'm guessing this is power to the GPU. PCIe This is all 8 pin PCIe Same with are these all the same? Oh no, there's CPU right there. And another CPU. <clears throat> All right. Oh, and then I also have. Cable extensions because I want to throw a little color in there. Comes with some cable combs, too. That's cool. All right, I'm not going to worry about these until later. <laughs> hey Jim, take a pizza break with us? 
Oh, nice. Here's our pizza. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's Ken here from Northern Biking Every Day. Today, I have a quick PC building tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to install this power supply or PSU into this PC case. We'll show you how to do the installation as well as do the cable connections to the motherboard and the GPU. It's really quite simple to do. We'll show you this step by step. So let's go ahead and dive right. right I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm watching a YouTube video on how to do this so I don't mess it up. Now, if you are interested in any of the components I'm using in this build, I will have them all linked below in the description. But let's go ahead and take off our side panel. So I have a side door that just slides off and you can go ahead and remove the back panel as well on your PC case. So let's figure out which cables we need to plug into our power supply. This is a fully modular power supply, so that means we're only going to plug in the cables that we're going to use for our build. You might have a semi-modular power supply, which has the standard cables coming out of it, and then you just add on the ones you're going to use. Or there's a non-modular power supply, which just has a whole ton of cables coming out of it, and all of them are attached. So let's have a look here at my motherboard and see which cables we need. First off, we need the 24-pin ATX cable that plugs in right here. We need the CPU power that's up here. There's an 8-pin that goes up there, and there's actually two of them on this motherboard, so I need two of those connectors. Some motherboards will only have one, so just depending on your motherboard. I also need a PCIe connector for my graphics card here, so if you have a graphics card, you'll need that. This one is an 8-pin PCIe connector, and some graphics cards may have two of those, so um, I've got one. If you have two, you'll need two cables to run for that. So the other cable we're going to need is a SATA cable to give power to my lighting hub here for my ARGB lighting in the system. That plugs in right here. Um, so if you have one of those, Truly you'll probably need a SATA cable. Now, if you're also a running SATA. a hard drive or solid state drive <laughs> in here, yes. you're going to need a SATA cable. Are you guys all at uh, Donna's? i to look at something real quick. for that as well and um, I'm not going to be putting this in here but if you do have that one would plug one so just depending on your motherboard. I also need a PCIe connector for my graphics card here so if you have a graphics card you'll need that. This one is an 8 pin PCIe connector and some graphics cards may have two of those so um, I've got one. If you have two you'll need two cables to run for that. So the other cable we're going to need is a SATA cable to give power to my lighting hub here for my ARGB lighting in the system. That plugs in right here. Um, so if you have one of those, you'll probably need a SATA cable. Now, if you're also running a hard drive or solid state drive mounted in here, you're going to need a SATA cable for that as well. And so in your box, you're going to have a ton of cables and you can go through them and pick out which ones you're going to be using. You can see that these ones are marked and tell you which cables they are, so it makes it easy. Here's the cables I'm going to be using today, and let's go ahead and plug them into our power supply. So we'll start out with that 24-pin ATX connector there, and the nice thing about this is it's all marked out where it goes on my power supply. So you say Type 4 on the side, and you can see it says Motherboard up there. So we're going to go ahead and plug those in. Make sure you're putting them in the, in the correct direction, and they kind of snap when they go in there, so you'll hear a little pop, just like that. It's pretty quiet. And we'll put that one in there as well, just like that. So that's connected in there. That's the ATX24 pin. So next up, we'll do the CPU cables. Again, I need two of them for my build. You might only need one of them for your build. Make sure you're grabbing the correct end as well because they are slightly different. And these plug in right here on my power supply. It says CPU. So we're going to grab both of those, and we're going to plug them in right here, just like that. And like that. All right, so just like that. It's pretty quiet. And we'll put that one in there as well. Just like that. So that. This is 
4, 8, 9, 10. 4, 8, 12, 16. Wait, what? 4, 8, 12, 16, 18. That's a 28 pin. And plug them into our power. And the nice thing about this is it's all marked out where it goes on my power supply. So you say type four on the side and you can see it says motherboard up there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug those in. Make sure you're putting them in the, in the correct direction and they kind of snap when they go in there. So you'll hear a little pop, just like that. It's pretty all right, so this definitely is gonna go in here. Pretty quiet. And we'll put that one in there as well, just like that. So that's connected in there. That's the ATX24 pin. So next up, we'll do the CPU cables. Again, I need two of them for my build. You might only need one of them for your build. Make sure you're grabbing the correct end as well because they are slightly different. And these plug in right here on my power supply. It says CPU. So I'm gonna grab both of those and we're gonna plug them in Okay, so that's why there's two CPUs. So these are the exact same cable. I think I only need one of these though for power. Yeah, just need one of these. here just like that so next up we'll do the cpu cables again i need two of them for my build you might only need one of them for your build make sure you're grabbing the correct end as well because they are slightly different and these plug in right here on my power supply it says cpu so we're going to grab both of those and we're going to plug them in right here just like that and like that and then the last cables, so I've got my PCIe cable here for my graphics card. I've got a few slots for that. There's one up here and a couple down there. Okay, so for the CPU. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Are these all the same? They gotta be, right? I'm gonna go with this one because this, of course, well, let's see now. This is mounted. Mounted that way, so this should actually go. Right here. The CPU. That's me trying to plug you in the wrong end. All right, good to know. There we go. That's labeled CPU. This is motherboard. That's the only one there, so I'll know that. I'll just go ahead and plug that in right here. Again, making sure it is the correct direction. And then 
for my graphics card. I've got a few slots for that. There's one up here and a couple down there. I'll just go ahead and plug that in right here. Again, making sure it is the correct direction. And then I'll... CPU enabled CPU. We're not going to use that one. So what's the difference? These cables are different right here. I don't know what the difference is though. They even like different material. So this is a 6 plus 2, this is a 4, 8, 12 pin, this is an 8 pin to a 6 plus 2 PCIe, and this is a, what did I say, 12 pin, but that's even super small. So I don't know what the difference is between these. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this PCIe, PCIe. So this is like, I don't know what this one is. It's two connections. Big time YouTubers make 10,000 per million views. You have three viewers, you should get a check for three cents. <laughs> yeah, let's hope, I'm on. I'll take three cents. Why not? <laughs> um, I need to open my graphics card to see what cables I need for that. One second. All right, so I did get a deal on this graphics card because it was an open box. Hope it's in okay condition. This thing right here is the star of the show. Looks like it hadn't been taken out of the plastic. I mean, maybe they did a really good job sealing it back up, but I like that. For being an open box. Black, that looks good. That's your something rattle. Oh, I must have scraped it on that. Whew. All right, so I've got two, two, four, two, eight pin 
connectors right there. So I think that means I need two of those, is it the PCI cables? I don't know. Okay. So two eight pin. home for a little bit. I also need that SATA cable. Also, I've got my PCIe cable. I'm going to grab both of those. And cables, again, I need two of them for my like that. So that's connected in there. That's the ATX24 pin. So next up, we'll do the CPU cables. Again, I need two of them for my build. You might only need one of them for your build. Make sure you're grabbing the supply. It says CPU. So we're going to grab both of those, and we're going to plug them in right here. And then the last cables. So I've got my PCIe cable here for my graphics card. I've got a few slots for that. There's one up here and a couple down there. All right, so this guy is using this cable right here. The PCI 6 plus 2. plug that in right here again making sure it is the correct direction and then I also need that SATA cable um, there's the SATA cable and I've got five spots for that so I'll just plug that one in here as well next up we're going to decide how we're going to mount our power supply so with the power supply ah, those and we're going to plug them in right here just like that and like that and then the last cables, so I've got my PCIe cable here for my graphics card. I've got a few slots for that. There's one up here and a couple down there. I'll just go ahead and plug that in right here. Again, making sure it is the correct direction. And then I also need that SATA cable. Um, there's the SATA cable and I've got, I'll just go ahead and plug that in my graphics card. I've got a few slots for that. There's one up here and a couple down there. I'll just go ahead and plug that in right here. Again, making sure it is the correct direction. And then I also need that SATA cable. Um, there's the SATA cable, and I've got five spots for that, so I'll just plug that one in. Yeah, so I need here. two of these. Next up, we're going to... Okay, so I'm going to use the PCIe cable. So this is graphics card, and I got got two of them. What did I say the graphics card was? A two six pin or two eight pin? I forgot. Two eight pin. So I need two of these. I'm gonna go ahead and mount them right next to the CPU ones as well. I mount and plug in. So I got that one. And yeah, here we go. This is the same cable. I mean, I'll go on. You said the big YouTubers make that much, so that's like 10 million views. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, obviously, so you know when videos are coming out or when I'm streaming. 
and get my million views. Maybe I'll be a YouTuber. <sighs> okay. We're going to decide how we're going to mount our power supply. So with a power supply like this, the air comes in the top and shoots it out the back of the power supply. So if I mount it in this direction, it's gonna suck the air out of the case and out the back. Now you have to have venting here for that to work. So this case has venting here, so I'm gonna be mounting. Watching the YouTube you video here, just to make sure. Can be a little, um, so lift it in one right, I did. Not missing that, anything. I'll take my SATA cable and connect that. There's a little kind of twist at one end or a turn, a 90 degree turn. Just make sure those line up so it goes on in the correct direction. Now again, if you are installing a hard drive or a solid state drive, you would use one of these to um, connect to that as well. It goes right there on that hard drive or solid state drive. And then we'll go ahead and start feeding the rest of the cables through. So our 24 pin, this hole here is the closest to that. I'll feed that through there. I've got my two CPU power connections. I'll feed those up here in the corner. And my PCIe cable for my graphics card, I'm gonna feed through the bottom down here. Flipping the computer around, we can start plugging in our cables. Again, that 24 pin ATX. Again, make sure you're plugging it in in the correct direction. You don't want to damage any of the pins. It should click right into place just like that. And then, of course, we've got the two eight pins up here in the corner. These are probably the hardest ones to plug in just because of the limited space up here. There we go. I've got those plugged in. And now just our PCIe connector for our graphics card. Sorry, this I'm is, this again, an eight right pin. Now. Some of them have two of them. And some are actually only six. So you might only use this portion right here. Now this is split. So you're going to kind of push them together. Make sure you put this in the correct direction because these two pins here can only go in one way. So my salts are going to go like that. They kind of slot together and then we can slide them into place. Just like that, we've got those in there. And that is it, we've got our power supply installed here with all the cables attached. And it's really that simple to install a power supply unit in your PC. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you get your power supply installed in your PC. If this video did help you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me. On all right. I think that's all I need. We got motherboard, CPU, and GPU for both of these. I don't, what else do I have to power? The motherboard will power the AIO. Not the RAM, not the fans, not the board of power that. I think that's it. Okay, cool. A lot of cables I'm not going to use. I don't plan on using any external drive, so I'm not going to put a SATA cable in there. But if I did, that would actually be pretty easy to add, even with it mounted, so, or installed. So, all right, I think that's it. Oh, I don't need this because the cable comes, or the uh, case, the chassis came with one. I was hoping to be gaming on this tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. All 
All right, I do need to learn how to do these fans, though, because I feel like it would be a good idea to get the fans hooked up to the motherboard right now before I actually put the AIO on the CPU. I gotta watch another video about how to do this. How to install MSI PC fans. See what this dude has to say. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome in. Today we are building the whole world of Project Zero. All right, let me do two of them. If you put anything other than probably one of these GLs or a smaller size, it's a beauty today. The white ventus. Except they they use the same standoff too. Hey, okay, still looks really clean. You really don't see a lot of wires come off that cleanness on there. So we'll try and pull these wires pretty taut. What? Yeah, chat. Already, already pre-wired. I did not know the SE was like that. That's a big W. Because yeah, before they weren't like this. All right, there we go. Nice and clean, nice and on there. So we'll try and pull these wires pretty taut around the sides so you don't see them. I'm gonna go up and over, so it'll kind of be hidden for the most part. But you're right, right. It's a little bit more wires, but hey, still looks really clean. You really don't see a lot of wires coming off that pump. It's that little, the little white streak right there. All right, this guy is super. not doing the tutorial. Side. Yeah, we we'll have to move these kids a little bit. This dude clearly knows what he's doing already. Let's try this dude. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking. So our next step is to install the standoffs. The cool thing about this head unit is you can rotate it so that MSI logo is in the correct direction. And tighten them on first. And there is an order you want to tighten them down in. So this is the first one right here. one. And we've got three cables for the pump fan cable. It's a three pin. And then we can move on to the wiring. So wiring this AIO is pretty simple. We're going to break it into three different sections. First off, the pump fan cable. It's a three pin cable that looks like that. Then we've got the two regular fan cables, and these are the four pin cables. And then we've got three cables for the ARGB. So um, we're going to show you where to plug all of these in. I'm not going to do any cable management today. We're just going to do it here on the front of the PC so you can see where everything goes. I'm going to let you run your cables behind and make it as pretty as you like. So again, starting with the pump fan here, and this is the cable that runs from the top of your radiator. I've got it coming out the side here right now. And it's a three pin or three female connector there. You can see there's two ridges on it. We're looking for our pump fan location. I have one right here at the top and you can see it's a four pin on mine but there's a little bar on it that allows you to slide the three pin on the four pin. So let's go ahead and slide that on there. So that's on there. Just be careful you don't bend any of the pins while you're doing that. Next up let's move on to the two fans here and there's two cables coming out of those fans. They look like this. Again they're the female four pin and you can see again there's those grooves on there so make sure you are putting these on the correct direction when you're sliding them on now in the box we did get a splitter here as well so we're going to actually be 
connecting both of these to the splitter, so we only need to plug it into one port on our motherboard. So mm, we'll line that's those up a splitter. to make sure they're okay. going in the correct direction. Just like that. And then this gets plugged in, again, in the correct direction into the CPU fan one here at the top. So point it out there on the photo. All right, that makes sense. Let's see. That's what those are. Where? Where did I put that? Looks like there's a way Ah uh, yeah, cool, okay. I didn't realize that. So this So there's three Notice there's three uh, connectors here, one connector here. That is so you can connect all three of the fans from the AIO together and connect this just to the CPU um, fan connector on the motherboard. I was wondering how that was going to work. So let's get that connected. I like to straighten these out before you put them in just to kind of help bend them around if you need to. They're not all stuck going one way, you know what I mean? All these little cable ties off each one. Last one, there we go. All right, these are all the so. Got all the fan cables.
Uh, see, I gotta look, see how this guy did this one more time. Just like that, and again, splitter, so we only need to plug it into one port on our motherboard. So we'll line those up and make sure they're going in the correct direction. Okay, so I gotta think about how these cables are gonna run. CPU fan, I know you probably can't see it, is all the way at the top there. So what I think needs to happen is I need to run these all behind. Yeah, I gotta run these behind the case. That down so it doesn't fall over. Okay. Cable management, yay! These two, this is just a case fan, not a CPU fan. I'm gonna keep this out of the way. Which means these two. Get a lot of views if when you plug it in, the whole thing explodes and burns up. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. Thanks for that, Juju Uncle Allen. Cables, yeah, that's fun. Okay, there's two of the fan cables. Let's see, how do I want to do these other ones? I think these need to go. Direction 
Okay. All these. All these out of the way. Deal with these later. Okay, so what I gotta do is plug in Together. So that's one of these. Careful not to break it. Wow, it feels very fragile. One. Don't know if it matters to order these, probably not. There's two. Yeah, Uncle Alan, have you been watching uh, Matt's Off-Road Recovery? Seeing what he's doing with the Bombi and all those sand rails and stuff? Man, this feels so delicate. There we go. All right. Okay, so now this. Comes out and this will go on the CPU.
Okay. CPU fans are installed. And by installed, I mean wired. <clears throat> Fan one here at the top. So point it out there on the photo. Just like that. And again, if you were doing this properly, you'd have all the cables running through the back, not with a big mess here at the front, but just to show you where everything plugs in. And the third thing we're going to do is our ARGB cables. And each of these cables has one male and one female on them. So we're going to pick one to be the first one. So let's see, one of them's coming from this fan for the lighting, another one's coming from our, our block here, and the third one's coming from this fan here. So let's go ahead. Maybe I'll pick the um, block here to be our main one. So we'll pull the cap off. I've already pulled it off on this one. We're going to take our second um, unit here from the fan. We're going to plug it in. Again, these are our three pins here. The three pin female on that side. We'll plug them together. And then we're going to take the third one here. And we're basically putting them in a line and pigtailing them together. We're plugging that into there. Like that. So now they're all in a row. And we're going to take the initial one here from the block and we're going to plug it in here at the top again on my motherboard. These might be in a different location on your motherboard, but they're at the top on mine and it says J Rainbow at the top there. J Rainbow 2. And we're going to just go ahead and plug that in. And again, this is a three pin, so make sure. That's how that works. Okay. I did see a J Rainbow. I don't remember where it is though. G G D V C P U Where do I plug in this RGB? C B R G CPU LED system fan and two. System fan audio com. Ah, uh, here we go. LED C one, LED demo, D LED. USB USB fan two. System. All right. I'm not sure where this is supposed to go. You are plugging it in in the correct direction. There we go, that's all plugged in there. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of these wires and then I'll show you what the lighting looks like on the AIO. There we go, it's all up and running. You can see the lighting here in the block and in the fans up here, the ARGB lighting. And I'm running that hmm. through Mystic Light on my computer and it seems to be working great. And it's really that simple to install this MSI Mag Core Liquid 240R V2 AIO cooler. So I hope this tutorial was able to give you value in installing this MSI cooler on an LGA 1700 socket. If it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. installing the 
top clip first onto the factory retention system and then gently putting in the bottom clip. And once they're both clipped in, just finger tighten them just to make sure they're in there and then the cooler's held into place. Get your Phillips head screwdriver and then tighten them up. Now don't do it up all the way, just do a little bit at a time to even... Just make sure that is actually removed because you will be in a world of trouble. Otherwise, locate the included tube of the... This has different ways of doing it in the middle. I usually put it on the Z or the Z of the Ryzen on the CPU and yeah, just lower the cooler on. I would recommend installing the top clip first onto the factory retention system and then gently putting on the bottom I don't know where to connect the actual in, RGB to this motherboard. To make sure in there and the cooler is held into place. Get your Phillips head screwdriver. Just watching a video, sorry. And then tighten them up. Now don't do it up all the way. And we should be tight and ready to move on to the next part of this installation. Now let's get stuck into wiring. Let's do the RGB for the head itself. I'd recommend locating an addressable RGB header on your motherboard that looks a little something like this. It's called J Rando on this motherboard. And you're just going to plug that in. It only plugs in one way and you should be good to go. Now you'll notice there's another cable coming off. This is for daisy chaining. Pass that through to the back and we're going to attack that a little bit later in the video. Next up, what we're going to do is locate the pump connector to power the pump that's plugged into the radiator. What I want you to do is pass this through to the front side of your motherboard. We're going to locate the pump fan header, which is this one right here. It's labeled that. And what you're going to want to do is then plug that in and pull the tension on the cable. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is plug in. All right. It's the second one that said... That should be a J Rainbow connector somewhere. Three pin. I mean, I've got a three pin. This is, let's see, ground, it's a GDV. What is that? Ground something volts. Right next to it, it does say DLED2. There's one more three pin down on the bottom. But that says demo LED C1 LED demo. It's got to be this GDV one. All right, I gotta look this up then for this motherboard. One second. That's the RAID. I don't want the RAID guy. Set it up. BIOS. Set up guide. Unique features. What? Looks like pages 
four thirty eight, maybe seventeen. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the difference between D LED two and LED C two? I don't know what that means. There's also LED C1. Okay, so LED C1 is down at the bottom. I saw that one. There's LED C2 in the top right. I saw that one as well. And then there's a D LED 2. And that says CPU LED. Oh, and there's one other. Okay, there's D LED one on the bottom, D LED two up top, and then LED C one on the bottom, and LED C two up top. So what's the difference? I do not know. Install that. Yep. Test the CPU cooler to the CPU fan header. Yep, did that. The memory's in. I don't have an expansion port. Connectors. Here we go. Okay, so seven. Yeah, D L D. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't mean anything to me. Eight is C P U L E D. Seven is D L D. One, D L D. Two. Hmm. <laughs> This RSB six fifty and elite X fan RGB. Let's see if that can. Here are examples of two different types of RGB fans. The top one is called an ARGB for addressable RGB. It has actually a three pin connector and it runs off of five volts from whatever it's connected to. The standard traditional RGB has a four pin connector and it runs off of 12 volts. You cannot intermix these two, even though it is possible to connect the three pin connector into the four pin connector that would burn out an ARGB fan. 
Generally, the ARGB comes with dual connectors, a male and a female on the same side. This allows you to daisy chain them together. So this particular single fan can be connected to another fan and another fan and another fan. The 12 volt RGB generally is more restrictive and what you'll have to do is plug these into a splitter. This one is a one by four splitter. Here. Okay, so one of these said it was 12 volt, 12 volts. I think we don't want to go to that one, right? So the CPU LED says 12 volt, 12 volt. The DLED one says 12 volt, but the one next to it, that's a three pin. All right, so that's gotta be it. Number seven, DLED one, DLED two. In this video, these are ARGB, and he just said that that can't go to 12 volts. <clears throat> I guess that means where do these other fans connect then? There's one more. Okay, so I guess. These three are then gonna have to plug into there's one more LED down there at the bottom. That is LED C1, LED C2. Let's see. So 17, directly to the left of that, number seven, the LED. Okay. All right. BDG. GDB ground. Oh, I see. G ground and then ground. Okay. All right. I think I figured it out. Whew. That took a second. We're getting there. So, what that means. These are all going to come through. I want that to come through the top. Yeah, probably. I want it to come through this slot right here. All right, let's figure out how to do that. Hold up, wait a minute. I plugged in the wrong, yep, plugged in the wrong one. Needs to be this one. Hold up, wait a minute. This and this, here we go. These all need to be connected together. Okay, I like that actually. How the hell that happened, I don't know, but I like it.
That's clear. So these are the three for the liquid cooler. So this, let's go and plug, I'm gonna plug that one in. So let's daisy chain this one. That's, this is for this fan, this is for this fan. So let's connect these two. Yep, and then this one gets connected to this one. There we go. And then this gets connected. I'm going to turn this real wet. All right, cool. Let's get to the bottom now, too. So, using that three pin, I made it. Thank you. 
go. Let's send this through. Okay, well. Cool. Just trying to be careful there because there's a bunch of exposed pins on the motherboard and I'm pulling those through, so I didn't want to damage any of them. Alright, so the question is... I want these fans to operate independently, but they can be connected the ARGB can be connected, right? It's got to be. The ARGB can, can be connected together. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. The question is, did I get another splitter? the one I must have got another splitter right one had to have come with AIO and another one came with the other three that I got which I used So all those are separate, <laughs> and then I got all these and the other three. 
Alright, I gotta hunt down the another splitter. There's no way I didn't... Oh, it's got to be in here. Huh. Oh wow, this one is... that came with the uh, AIO cooling. This one is way nicer. Than the other one. It says noise reducer. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. What's this? Huh? So I got these two cables, came with the AIO, they're both three to one, they both, let's see, two three pins and a four pin, two three pins and a four pin, yeah, four. These appear to be the exact same thing, except this one says that it's a noise reducer. I feel like I probably should use this one, just because it's such a nicer cable. I got to, right? Alright, let's do it. Ugh. Oh shit, no, that could stop. Oh, shit, That could stay, yeah, the fan. Okay, I messed that up a little bit, whatever. Let's just do this. Come on, baby. Four pin, four pin. 
Cool. There's one. There's two. That felt good. There's three. And this needs to be plugged into it's the fan header, not the frickin' RBG. There we go. Okay. And then I accidentally just undid. The RGB, which I didn't need to do. That was just a stupid mistake. Where did that go? Where the heck did that just go? What? <laughs> Sorry, man. I just I don't have great light, but yeah, I'm trying to get all this. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to get this installed, baby. Get the got to get these RGBs, you know.
<laughs> Matt, figure out a comment in chat, dude. I can't keep track of chat plus text. Get out of here. <laughs> You're funny. This cable is way nicer, and I'm almost positive it's the exact same thing for this. So I'm going to use it. All right. So this needs to go to a system. Ooh, wait a second. I want I want this one to be on a different Actually, let's see, do I? No, I keep these the same. So these are going to go... On the system fan... Some fan one, two, three. System fan one.
not bend. Holy shit. And I have to use the other one just because it'll bend. Dang it. Well. So I can't use this nicer cable right here because it's heat shrinked and there's a it basically has to be turned like almost 90 degrees to be plugged in so I can only turn at the point there so I can't have that so we'll be using this one dang All right. All right, all the fans are done. That's a lot of friggin' cable. Oh, wait a second. Let's see. Can I get... No, wait, I don't link these together yet. So... Top one. Go on second one, which will go into that one. Now this needs to go three pin connector down to that LED. Yep.
Alright, arrow crooked. Ha! Got it! Boom! Okay. Now the lights are done. You know what it's time for? It's AIO. So I gotta put some thermal paste on this. Install. Let's do it. Using the stuff. Not to a uh, what is it? NT dash H two. Put this down first and don't have to deal with all this weight. So most people put that little pea-sized drop right in the middle and then put the AIO down, but I don't like that. And also the directions say to spread it evenly over the CPU. So I'm going to try to do that. So let's put some... So I'm going to start with that. And then what can I use to spread this? I did not, I don't have a little spatula deal. Let me see what else I got.
So this spatula is obviously way too big and I use it for cooking, but you know what? We're going to do it. I just got to get a new one of these. I think that's pretty good. You guys see that? There you go. Nice little thin layer over the whole thing. Let's do it. You in first. So these cables are where they're supposed to be. You know what I mean? screwed in Thank you. 
That's in. Now, let's put this on. Alright. Oh man, this sticks up just past the plane there.
All right, so we got one. This needs to go to the pump. So this system, fan four and pump, it's that four pin right there. So this needs to go there. Oh man, this is gonna like, how do I route this? Probably this way. go Even better. Oh, yeah, way better. All right, I don't know what to do about this RGB, though, for the actual pump itself. It's a three pin. Out of three pens. question is, do I forego one of the fans in favor of the pump? I don't think so.
Hmm. All right. We're going to start connecting other stuff. Let's get the CPU connected. Oh, wait, cable extensions, dude. I'm not sure if this case is going to be able to handle all these cables. This is uh, a lot. Also, So that will go there. So cool. and All right, so these cable extensions. What did I put? Oh, here we go. Alright, put new guys on. extension obviously try to make that look better you know what? I think I have to do this with it standing up because it's folding the cable in a weird way yeah
，而是看区别出来。One more. Four hours later. Okay, Ryan, I see you. I know, I know. If I had to do this again, I'd be way faster now that I understand it. I had to figure out all the freaking fan stuff, which I get now. But <clears throat> these purple, uh, purple cable extensions are legit, huh?
<sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just a little bit jealous. <sighs> Don't worry, Ryan. Your KD is still probably like double mine. <laughs> I might I might look good doing it, but doesn't mean I'm doing any good. You know what I mean? I do like these purple cable extensions. Woo. Okay. So CPU is connected. And then I got so I gotta do this CPU up at the top too. That's gonna have to come in all the way through here. Let's just be straight up silly because this is barely going to show but I got the cable so why not this uh it's already a friggin micro atx friggin case and i'm just adding a bunch of extra cable to it when cable management is like one of the hardest things about this case all right let's get the cpu connector on here so that will be at the top It's gonna go in just like that. Check this out, the way these, these are Asia horse ones. So, you can see these are kind of long, right? And these, this is obviously a eight pin connector. So this goes, <laughs> ugh. So what's cool about these or, um, cable divider things is they go, hold on, I'll show you in a second. Let me say, cable, sorry, you're right, cable comes, my bad, right, my bad. But what's cool about these is it gets both of the cables, so see how that extra is kind of sticking out right here to get the, all eight of them. I like that. 
I thought I just did the top for some reason. Boom. This has to make like a hard 90 in there. So I might keep it like that. I'm gonna probably add How am I going to do this? Let's see. Oh, oops, this is... Actually, I think I put this on the wrong way. i got to flip it around. Because this has to bend that way. Well, let's see. I think that's better because the way it pulls on it means it won't come off. I gotta add another one on here. Alright, dude, can you see the finish part? I'll leave and get us some game tomorrow and break that baby in. Oh, hell yeah, Ryan. I feel like this seems like it's going smoothly. So, as long as it starts up and everything, I'll try to get all set up tonight so we're good to go tomorrow. Catch you later. Yes, thing to get in there.
<laughs> Hellbound, you're right. It is. I feel like I'm so close though. I literally just have like this to connect and then what else? I had to put the uh, GPU in, which I feel like is not that big a deal, and then just connect, connect it to the PSU, and then this thing is ready to fire up. So. It's not that much more. This connector is definitely a pain to get in though, I can tell you that. Ha! Ah, got it. There we go. Cool. CPU is connected. Motherboard is connected. Just got to get the GPU in here. And connect that. I'm going to go ahead and just add these cable extensions right now. I'm connecting this PCIe here. There we go. Oh. What happened? Tarx, this is split. All right. Yeah, this is the only way this goes in. I see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. There we go. Cool. There's one. And the next PCIe. I 
know if you can see it, but what's kind of cool is since this is split, when you put it together, there's actually these little little dowels, I don't know what to call them, that make it so this aligns correctly. I didn't see that before. I've heard the gamers make the best drone pilots. I got a new drone a couple months ago, and I'm not too coordinated. Maybe I need to get into gaming and set up, step up skills. <laughs> Heck yeah, I can see that. It's kind of just like a real life video game. It couldn't hurt. Even like a first person shooter or something like that, maybe. Get those, get those skills up. What kind of, uh, what kind of drone did you get? What happened to your last drone? Did you break it or just get something new? All right, it's time for this GPU to go in. Got to see what slots we got to take out, though. Let's see, top two. All right, let's get this GPU in. Man, I really like the way this looks. Are you kidding? Oh, 
augured the old one and couldn't fix it. New one is a DJI Mini 3 with a six, wow, six mile range. Nice, cool. <clears throat> All right, so we've run into an issue. I might have messed up on the specs here, so. This case is supposed to be able to handle up to like a 340, 50, 60 something millimeter long GPU. This one is 331 millimeters, but it's running into my PSU. So I wonder if that means it can only fit one if the PSU is all all the way in the up position, which I can't do. Shoot. The drone cost half of what that radio you have in your hands. <laughs> Yeah, this radio was not not cheap. I got a deal on it though. Oh shit, this is not good. I don't know what to do here. It's too long. It hits the PSU over here on my right hand. That PSU would have to go I think all the way Yeah, that PSU would have to go all the way in the up position, and there's, which then means I can't have that. Um, liquid cooler. So have you tested the uh, six mile range on that thing yet? Mechanical engineer saying cut to size, beat to fit, and paint to match. <laughs> I like that. Is it okay to beat to size computer parts? I think I uh, might be like actually in trouble because of this. So I'm not going to get a smaller GPU. I'm definitely keeping that GPU. Only about one mile out over the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> even one mile is kind of scary, I'll bet.
So I think the only thing I can do, all right, I think what I'll have to do is get a 240 mil AIO, which basically just gets rid of this fan. And then this can go all the way up. And then I'll have room here. <coughs> the only other benefit of having this go all the way up is that I might be able to figure out how to get a fan down here. But I really wanted to have a big cooler for the CPU. My other option is instead of getting this micro ATX case is to get an ATX case but I kind of don't want to do that because it's going to sit over here my desk is kind of small and if I have a case that's like a little bit bigger and a little taller it's going to be just this huge block that's like just like right there and i don't really want that oh looking for whales nice yeah did you find any also speaking of whales well, I guess orcas are considered dolphins, right? But uh, did you see that video recently of the orca that attacked that great white? That was pretty wild. Talk about an apex predator. I don't know what to do here. Ugh, sucks. You know what's crazy is my stream is way behind <laughs> what I'm doing. That's pretty wild. Like literally probably five minutes behind.
Yeah, maybe push it back a couple inches. I mean, the whole point of this case is to be small, though, so I highly doubt it. I mean, I guess it's possible, but... I think the right thing to do is to just get a 240 millimeter AIO here. Because literally, right, we've got one, two, three fans. This is the fan that's hitting the, or is preventing the PSU from going all the way up. And the PSU can't go anywhere else. So I think I just need to get a PSU, gets rid of one of these fans, which gives plenty of room for this to go all the way up, and then that will give room for the GPU to go in. I guess I might be a little worried about temps doing that, but what are you gonna do? Also, that was a lot of friggin' wiring to get that thing in there. <laughs> so I'd have to take that out now, it's a little bit of a bummer. But I guess that's just what I gotta do. Oh. All right, well, I guess I'm taking this out. Dang. Defeat. Oh shoot, I gotta get that done first. Crap. Gotta disconnect this before I go do all that. Clean off 
call this thermal paste to uh, the waste. Good thing I got more. Man, I gotta figure out all the friggin' wiring on this now. I guess the good news is I'll get a new one of these doing now so it should go way faster like a lot faster so I guess I'll try to just take that part as a win the learning part Shitty way to quote unquote learn.
Oh God, I feel like you stayed with me the longest. I think you're the only one. You are the only one watching right now. I appreciate that. I feel like I feel like I let you down. I let the stream down. Now I gotta order a new one. So I'm probably not gonna have this done for a few, at least a few days. Probably not till like, well, whenever it gets delivered. So probably not till like Wednesday or Thursday, I would guess. So, that's a bummer, but what are you going to do? I'll definitely let you know when it's done, though. came all labeled which is actually really freaking nice can't wait to see the lights when we fire it up I know right thanks Let's... I almost went with they call it an anti RGB build so obviously you know no RGB but and I was like, you know what? I think it actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Like, I'm not. I don't really like all the have the lights flashing all the time. You know, it's not not my style. But I'll probably have just like a solid color and not not too bright. I don't know if you can change the brightness. I get. I'm assuming you can. But. Uh, yeah, something like not too bright, and then um, I think, yeah, just a solid color. Need a little white, probably a little purple. So that's kind of the built theme, black and purple. I don't know too, like obviously I've never messed around with the settings on lights like this because this is my first build, but I wonder if you can have different scenes that you can just change it to real quickly, you know what I mean? Have like one solid one and then maybe change that up and get like, you know, have one that just does all the crazy things RGB lights can do. So you can just switch between it. I don't know. Final two screws. Look at this big old friggin' honking thing.
Paces everywhere. So I got, <coughs> just wiped off the thermal paste and I kind of got in some spots I don't want to get. So I'm trying to get it off with a toothpick right now. <laughs> Oops, sorry. And this thermal paste is like anti seeds, just freaking gets everywhere. I use too much of it.
A little bit of thermal paste on the actual CPU itself. What else you got going on this weekend, I'm gone. You gonna go fly the drone or go on a walk or take Colt out or any of that kind of stuff? Raining side doesn't appear for the next five days. Oh, bummer. That's not good. Put a new battery in the Ford Focus A. Need to cut this, cut to size. Cut an extra flange off the bottom to get it to fit. You mean like cut a flange off the 
battery itself or the battery tray? I assume the battery tray. Oh, the battery, huh? It has a flare on the bottom for some cars to hold it down. I have a top one. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. You been uh, shooting the bow and arrow at all, or what's going on there? Oh, yeah, I ran too much. Yeah.
Eric has taken an old bicycle and converted it into a gravel bike. Yes, and phones. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can see Eric getting into some gravel cycling like that. Good for him. Understand this. I'm clown. I'm gonna see if I can show you something on the stream here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to show you my computer screen because I want to get your opinion on something. Because this isn't making sense to me. So give me one second. I'm, just, I'm trying to show you my computer screen.
Can you hear me any better now? I'm gone. Let me know if you can see this. This should be a picture of a, a case. Um, and then I forgot how much of it the lighting is between what I'm doing and what's actually showing on screen. For some reason, the page I'm, I'm scrolling down doesn't really feel anything right.
figure it out. Four out of thirty two. Okay. So Okay. So you can see all right, cool. So you can see page twenty four right now. So here's the thing. This is the manual for this case that I'm using which is an Asus Prime AP201. And see right here, here it says the graphics card limitation. It says 338 millimeters, right? Which is that grayed, grayed box rectangular section right there. So it shows that that should fit right there, right? So, if you go to my the specs on my um, GPU, the graphics card, look, the card size says right here, 331 millimeters long. So that should fit right there, right? Because right now, it's definitely not. There's, is there something I'm missing?
Mike here. Good thing I just said. Oh, it sounds pretty loud. Were you able to get anything I just said about the graphics card? The limitation, right? 338 millimeters in length. And if you go to the actual specs, it says it was 331 millimeters right here. So it should fit seven millimeters, right? Still not hear me, Uncle Alan?
testing, testing. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, testing, testing. It's so faint, I didn't change anything. Still laughing stream, definitely stop the recording and play two different videos. Oh yeah. Yeah, let me stop. There we go. Maybe that helps. It's going back to this.
Well, I guess I got a couple other things I could try to connect right now. That would be way easier to do before the GPU is in there. These guys that need to be hooked up. Oh, I know where audio goes, but that's about it. I think. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Would it be better to wait until you have all the new parts continue? Yeah, probably. I think there's a couple things here though that uh, can be connected that are okay to have connected. So like right now, I'm plugging in the audio um, port so for the front here there's a an audio jack <sighs> and so this is gonna stay here this is definitely the PSU is definitely where it's gonna be and there's enough length that I can still move these cables all around if I need to so Think it should be okay. Okay. 
But I guess you're right. If I just know where this stuff goes, it doesn't really matter if I plug it in right now or not. Not like it's going to save that much time. I would like to know where all these go, though. So the audio, I got that. So, yeah. That one I got. The power one is easy. So these three. This flat one goes to the USB-C. So let's see, where does that go? I don't know what that is. Looking at a diagram of all the connections for the motherboard, but I don't know which one the USB C one is. Like, there's not one labeled USB C. There's. Uh, USB 1 and USB 2. Oh, which is probably. Yeah, okay, so let's see, that's these other two, which this one goes to. Yeah, okay, so this big dog right here, that would make sense. And this would go to USB 1, USB 2, because it goes to two different outlets, but into one connector. So that's 17, which is down in the middle there, at the bottom. Okay. So I know where that one goes, that's good. The USB-C one, I don't know. Oh, I see a, I see a place where it looks like this goes. I don't see anywhere else on this motherboard where <clears throat> there's a connection like that. So that's got to be it. Okay, so I guess I know where that goes. Cool, so now it's just this last one here. Which goes to the power button to turn it on and off. So does that go Which one of these would turn this whole thing on and off? You set it that Oh yeah, it's a battery, so duh, duh. M2A CP, I don't know what that is, 13F panel. It's a little three pin. 
Power LED, Power SW. Is there a Power SW? I see a RSTSW reset. Is that what that is? Let's see, 21. What kind of connector is that? Yeah, that's probably it, except there's three connections. That only has one. Except that's reset. That can't be it, right? What's your shop rate? Hundred dollars now? <laughs> Heck yeah! You want me to build you a PC? I might take. I might take a long time, but I do a good job. You let me know. I really don't know what these are. It says Power LED Plus, Power LED Minus, and Power SW. So there's the Power SW is a two prong connector, the other ones are just singles. The LED plus and the LED minus. Ooh, a flashlight just went out. So on here, so power SW on the motherboard diagram number 21 is RST SW slash RST and it's a two-prong connector. So does that mean you just don't use these other two for the LED? I don't know. Alright, I think I'm going to call it. I'm going to figure that out later. My place is an absolute mess right now. And I need to repackage the AIO and hopefully not miss anything so that I can hopefully return that and get a smaller one. So, all right, I'll go on. Well, thanks for uh, hanging with me for so long. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. And let's see here. There we go. See me. There we go. Um, but yeah. Like I said, thanks for hanging with me. Appreciate it. And I'm going to order these parts. I imagine I'm not going to get them until Wednesday or Thursday. And but I'll definitely send you a video of this thing powering up. <clears throat> so. Maybe I should power for more lighting. Yeah, it could be. But, all right, I know there's a delay here, but uh, anyway, I'll catch you later. See ya.